We live in an area that is rich in ethnic culture and cuisine, steeped in history and memorials dedicated to the constant fight for freedom. Here, we enjoy a standard of life that few in the world will ever know. But our communities are under attack. A domestic violence survivor is speaking out after she says her ex-boyfriend nearly killed her last month. A young mother killed and the father of her newborn charged with the murder. For more than two years, people have been regularly overdosing after coming in and out of one apartment here on the second floor. Overdoses are now the third leading cause of death in kids under 19 in the U.S. Tonight we're learning more about the alarming impact alcohol is having on women in America. Teenagers seeking help for substance abuse treatment say they most often turn to drugs and alcohol to de-stress, according to new research published today by the CDC. The family, once the foundation of strong communities, is succumbing to the stress of life. Crime is on the rise, perpetrated more than ever by young teenagers. Baltimore father is speaking out after he and his child were targeted by juveniles in Federal Hill over the weekend. The Arapo Sheriff's Office now investigating back-to-back -back burglaries, one of them caught on camera. Seven people are now in jail accused of burglarizing a home in Coral Spring. Police in Irvine are warning residents to take extra precautions after dozens of home burglaries over the past month. We live in houses devoid of the knowledge of God, in families that are broken, without discipline, and having no respect for authority. The result is the destruction of culturally centered communities, economic downturn, drugs and alcohol proliferation, and low education standards, leading many to live in poverty and homelessness, struggling to find hope for a better future. Despite hundreds of millions of dollars spent during the pandemic to help the problem, the homeless population is growing. Groups of volunteers are ready to comb through the streets of San Francisco to find and count the number of people who are unhoused. This morning, Baltimore Spending Board approved a more than $18 million deal to buy two hotels, which will be used to house more than 100 city residents experiencing homelessness. There are encampments like these across the district, some big, some small. Thousands of people living on the streets of D.C. with no home of their own. More importantly, we live in confusion with a complete lack of trust and breakdown in interpersonal communication. From houses to homes wants to address these issues by restoring homes through God's grace for families to once again come together, in restoration, submitting to God, learning the value of respect, trust, and hope. We want to rebuild communities, remaking houses into homes. But in practical terms, how can such an ambitious plan work? From Houses to Homes works with partner organizations doing substance abuse counseling or transitional programs to provide housing for their clients. We target vacant or dilapidated properties and rebuild them, tailoring their use to the needs of the partner organization. We are committed to their clients after they complete their program with options for more long-term housing based on need. Long-term education, skills training, mentorship and Bible study are offered during this time. FHTH's goal is to place them into home ownership, in targeted communities, value and responsibility of living in community, empowering them to find solutions they face collectively and restoring respect and trust for each other and God.